Hi, welcome back to Favorites with Laura. Look at my shirt. <laughs> so the Grinch is going to be watching us, but this is nothing about being a Grinch. Um, I just like the character. I like the movie. It's from, you know, childhood and, you know, before we had more than three channels, um, they would show a Christmas movie or cartoon during the season and you did not miss out. So we watched it every year and we didn't have DVDs. We didn't have streaming and so this is one of my childhood shows um not not that um i'm a grinch but i still like the ending with the dog i always felt bad for the dog and having to carry that big old horn on his head to look like a fake reindeer <laughs> so if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're returning thank you very much so we have a little bit of a mix today so i do have a timu well, haul and they're going to be coming fast and furious because I do have several orders coming in time for the holiday and getting everything together. I'm going to have to start wrapping, you guys. I I got to I got to just to get things organized. And so, a couple things. So, I'm going to compare a knife that my husband wanted. I mentioned it in this it came really fast by the way. It, I had ordered it and um he had seen it on I don't know some Facebook or something and he wanted it um, for a gift and then one for himself and I looked at that site the husk site and it was tremendous uh, cost on that site and I'm like I go can I look at Timu and he said no he really wanted the name brand so I looked on Amazon of course they had the name brand there but is it is it you know buying it from the same place that Timu might buy it so of course I had to get one at Timu. Now Timu was one third of the price that it was on Amazon and Amazon was like half the price it was from the main site, the name brand website. So we're going to take a look at that and then also I want to show you this. So I had ordered these. He wanted these as gifts too for some of his men and or, or people he works with uh, through his contacts and stuff. Um, different what do you call it? Contractors that he works with. Anyway, so these are those survival um, emergency kits. And I, I had bought one for him and one for my car and one for my daughter's car. And um, this one does seem a little heavier. Now, the big thing he wanted in it. Now, of course, I, I didn't get exactly the same one I bought him because I found it for cheaper. And I thought, and I'll have the prices. Uh, I'll have those, you know, some, somewhere. Okay. So, um, yeah, I found it, but the thing he wanted in here was the fishing line, and it has like four snaps on each side here. One, two, three, four. Um, so I'm really hoping, it looked like it had it in the picture, so they do look exactly the same, and I'm not going to haul the whole thing, but what I'm really important, the important item here better be here. Okay, so it is. Thank the Lord, because... So it, it had the fishing line and hooks and all that in this emergency kit. Everything else is the same. Um, remember, I if you watched that video, it had this special tool. So maybe I did buy exactly the same. But I bought it from a different vendor, and I wasn't sure. You never know. You know, you never know. So this is like a little hatchet hammer, and this is super sharp. So it does come with a rubber, rubber protective top to it. So, okay, so that's... Good. I'm just going to let you know that that is good. It has all these pieces in it. I'll put a little bit more in the description box for you. We're not going to go through that because I already have a video that I hauled. So you got a knife, you got a, a spork. <laughs> oh, what is that? You got a fire starter um, flint. So that's cool. Um, some emergency blanket. One of these. But it's plastic it's not metal and it's locked down right now oh here we go like this one-handed okay uh, anyway got a of course you have a compass okay so of course now i can't close that because i have to figure that out so i bought four of those that was a good deal now i'm anxious to see these knives so i know i know one major difference was timu offered it with a gift box but i didn't want to pay I don't know what it was. Could have been four dollars more for the gift box, and I thought, Timu, you can't even send a box in the bag without getting it smashed to heck. So 
I did not want to pay extra for a gift box. Now the one off of Amazon came in a gift box. So we're going to open up this one first. That way we know what we're looking for. And this will be a gift for my husband so he won't care if the plastic is off of it. And the other one will be a gift that he will give away. And then some lucky person <laughs> might get the dupe. I don't know. Um, so this does come in a gift. Or what if, do you ever think of this? What if I use this gift box? Uh, okay, we'll get to that point. Maybe it's not even a possibility. So it comes in this little um, sheath and this is really sturdy. Now I had read on the reviews for the Timu one that it was really cheesy. So I expect it to be pretty cheesy. And if I hadn't read that, I would never have bought these, but I can't give that gift the way that he wants to give it with a cheesy sheath so this this looks nice and then it's got a nice heavy duty snap with the belt folder there so these are going to people that grill a lot and they cook a lot and they cut a lot of meat up now they have different sizes and this is really nice this is really nice i can't wait to compare this um and they do have some protection on there but it's supposed to be super sharp and that is all. So I wasn't sure if the Timu one's going to be painted. This is all embossed in there. It's got a coating, a black coating on there. Yeah, and it goes all the way through. That's what you want to see on a nice knife is that it goes all the way through so you won't ever have breakage here, hopefully. Um, it's all put together. This is a very good quality knife. And what he liked about it is this is the key. Um, so you have more ang more leverage with that thumbnail or the finger hole right there when you're cutting your meat. Cutting your meat. <laughs> okay, so I'm so immature sometimes, I think. Anyway, so we're going to put that back together when you're barbecuing and getting your stuff prepped. Okay. So that is this knife that we just saw, okay, darker toned leather, that is leather, um, looks super quality. This was $31, I just took a picture of it. So this was $31 for the 5.7 inch knife, $31, and then it goes up from there. So they do have an 8 inch one for $33, they have an 8.26 8 inch for $33 also. Um, they all come with the gift box, okay? That's on the Amazon. This came in a little bag. I took it out and it came in here because I have one other gift in here um, besides that that came. Now, so I'm super excited about, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do for this big, so I have a collaboration that's going to be very fun, so stay tuned. That's coming out on Tuesday. December 5th, okay, that'll be out at, um, it's going to be 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my time. If you're on the East Coast, that's Pacific time, if you're on the East Coast, it will be 4 o'clock p.m. So again, this one does not come in a box, I mean, there's your gift box, <laughs> no. So right off the bat, we see immediately the different color, which I, I knew that. The sheath is a little long. Oh, no. Okay, so there's the back side. Side by side, this one doesn't have this rivet right here, but that one does. Um, the stitching looks identical. It's just a different color. I can definitely tell a lighter weight on this knife. That's for sure. There's that. So this one is definitely lighter weight. We're going to pull it out, snap here, not as heavy duty snaps, lighter weight. Look at that, they have it protected too, kind of very similar. The handle is a little lighter and it looks a little bit more curved. Actually it might be more ergonomic or er, ergonomically correct. Now these are supposed to be super sharp, it does look sh super sharp. And it is embossed, that's what I wasn't sure if it was going to be. It is embossed there. We can tell like some computer or some machinery did this 
and it's not as cleanly lined up there. It does have the hole here. The grip actually feels better to me, but I have smaller hands. Um, the wood tone looks like they did one side but not the other. I don't know if you can tell on the camera the different color woods. That's darker and there's the lighter side. Can you tell? So that's, um, I mean, they might think that's normal, but it is. It looks like they forgot to stain this side, to be honest. So that's what I would think. It has the same hook. Now, we're going to hold this up together. So I would say, if you couldn't afford or didn't want to spend the money on this one, this one's going to do the same thing. Now, the other difference is this has the logo. Watch me get these off. I won't get them messed up, mixed up because they're totally... Um, yeah, that's so this one has a longer handle. It's I like the handle on this one better actually. Um you can tell that this is thinner. This one is thinner than this. So they use more metal. That's why this is head, heavier. Um this does have the cutting edge on this side too. And this one does not. So side by side, if you didn't know the difference on what you were buying and didn't have them together like this I gotta be careful because I am gonna hurt myself I mean you may not know it was different now if you're looking for that name if you're into the name thing that might be important to you and there you go it's still cheaper on Amazon than it is at the site okay so I think this will be a good backup I don't think we'll we, I don't know he might give this to someone um, but this this is good quality, and really the Timo one is not bad. It's not a bad dupe. So if you're looking for a dupe and you don't want to spend $31, this was $7.95 with the sheath. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Got to get this back in the right box. So there you go. Now, yeah, I have that collaboration coming up on Tuesday. I still have to film it. I have a lot of ideas of what I'm going to put into my giveaway box. So it's a, it's, oh, I'm not going to give it away yet. Okay, so you're just going to have to watch. Boy, I almost blew it right there. I get so excited. And um, now for, I'm going to do another giveaway before the end of the year. It'll be my last one, I believe. And it's going to be for my 3,000 subscriber. We totally skipped 2,000. And I have a special idea on what I'm going to do with that. And then I also have um, some more things coming, but we're going to talk about a little bit about the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. Oh, no, we're going to talk about this other gift I got. So I got this, and I forgot I got this for my son. So I hope I ordered the right one. This is a keyboard that fits inside of his controller. I don't know. He might not even like it wireless keyboard for the X for the Xbox one it's supposed to work with the one the S X series all the series okay so let's I gotta be quiet because he might be out there listening I think right now they're looking for the dog because <laughs> he got out of the house so I decided to come in here and go make a video so um yeah, I have some Dollar Tree things I want to show you, okay? So let's get this out. So this is a little keyboard. It has a USB, it's supposed to plug right into the um, controller. So you have this in the middle of your controller and it's supposed to be able to help him like type, I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully he'll like it. I thought it was a cool little device though, instead of using all his shooting thumbs on his gaming. And this one was, let's see, I, let me put these knives away. I, I'm too um, accident prone to think that I can just have these sit up here and nothing will happen. Nothing bad will happen. So we're going to put that away. Got a dozen scissors out, okay. And do that. He's so excited about those knives coming in. And um, yeah, so just one second. 
Okay, so now on to the fun stuff with the Dollar Tree. None of that nasty knife stuff that my husband wanted. Okay, so um, the Dollar Tree, I have a great big haul here. So if you don't have something to drink or you have to go to the restroom, pause me and come back because we have a few things of exciting excitement coming and i just can't wait to show you okay so if you're looking for like greeting boxes or um, gift boxes for the holiday these are not your standard gift boxes so when you go into the dollar tree you have to sometimes look at the end caps in the very back our dollar tree at least has had christmas items at the end cap over in the grocery section or in the very back where they have those um, baskets, you know, the plastic storage organizer baskets. And then, um, and then they'll also be somewhere, somewhere else. So I think they just like, they're ordering better. They're better. They, our store is immaculate. I'm so happy. I've been to one not too far from there that is a disaster. So it's really up to the managers and, um, if you get a good manager in there, I think you're going to be happier with your Dollar Tree. So I found these boxes. Now these are, let me get my handy dandy, I should have had that out. Let me get these knives out of the way. They're going to be haunting me until I get those wrapped and out of my house. Because I know, here it is. Man, that light is whitening me out. Okay, so these boxes, now they had... I think four sizes. Now they have two large sizes that look very similar. So pick them up because I noticed one, I go, is that one a little bit larger? And I wanted the largest one I could find because I'm going to use them for stuff. And I wanted to make sure I had the largest one because these are so stinking cute. And these are, yeah, these are 11 and a half inches long. Okay. So there's this one. And they're not just pretty on the outside. They're very pretty on the inside, too. So what a great, great. I'm sure there's people out there, DIY, Dollar Tree crafters out there that have great ideas on how else you could use these boxes. But good quality boxes. So I went with the largest one, 125 because our store is all 125 I don't have anything out. Oh, look at that. Oh, I blew it. I blew it on one here. So I did get one smaller. That's the difference between one of them. And it's just a little bit short. So it's probably 11 inches there. Not too much difference. But this says Merry Christmas. There's the inside. And even the lid is like, you know, color coded. So these are great boxes. So they had four different designs. Of course I got all four. To the joy to the world. I mean, for $1.25, comes with your little handy dandy keep it dry gel pack. <laughs> So, aren't those pretty? Okay, so one more. And then as I open and show the rest, I can put some of that stuff in that box. Um, I'm a total mess here, though. But Okay, so this one was super cute, too. But, it, I mean, these are great boxes. Even in your household or if you're giving stuff away, that's good, too. Look at the inside. It's the same inside. I love it. Okay. Very cute boxes. We'll leave this one open because I do have a few items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So, still spent. Oh, by the way, did I tell you where I get this top? It's not Timu. I bought this top in the boys section at Walmart. How come they didn't have this? This is a nice sweater. It's nice. It's not too heavy because I like the layers. I get too hot. And... It was in the boys section. They didn't have anything like this in the women's, in the men's, nothing. So I got lucky. I found like the XXXL um, size 18 in the boys section and I grabbed it. <laughs> and now I hung it on my, my hanger the wrong way. So I have like a deformity here, but I'm sure that'll relax once I uh, wash it. But I know you're going to be shocked, but this is made in the same place that Timu items are. It is. I'm head blown right so yeah so i bought something at walmart that wasn't from timu i think it was like 14.97 because you know walmart likes to do that 97 thing okay so the next couple of items here i know other people have hauled this this is the led projector they had several different ones this is the christmas house it has like a snowman a christmas present a stocking a sleigh and it does take batteries so it's not um it's not anything, and of course you need a screwdriver to open, oh, oh, yeah, you need the little screwdriver, which of course I have from Timu, but that's this right here. 
Okay, that's one item. I saw this and I thought this was a really pretty ornament, but it, it's made out of paper, like corrugated paper. And I, have you seen this one? This is so pretty. It, it's really a cute ornament, but I could totally see this going on a package, a nicely wrapped package. And then I picked up some of these because of our hot chocolate um, bar, and it's candy, candy cane spoons, peppermint flavor. So that's candy cane. Great for hot cocoa stir. Isn't that great? So we're going to be able to use those tonight. Then I found these tags. Now, I, you know, you can get hundreds of tags. So inaffordable. But these were so cute. And they, they come with the elevated one. And it says six, but there's also a sticker one behind it. So I'm thinking you're getting 12... 12 of these. So we're going to open this up. So this is, it has a jingle bell on it. Those six right there. Aren't those cute? So that was a $1.25 for that special. I thought those would be great tags for these back boxes. And I just have to see if this is going to be, can you tell I stood up? I'm so short. You can't, and my chair is so high that it's hard for me to move. Okay, so, okay, let's see what's going on here. Does that lift up? I guess it's, oh, I don't really know, you guys. So, okay, so it's supposed to be like a 3D or 2, you know, this all stays together, and then you peel this off, and it sticks on here, and it's a raised tag. Okay. Awesome. Oh gosh, I just got that stuck to that sticker. Okay. Are y'all having a good day? Oh my gosh, I'm going to destroy it if I don't go slow. So just bear with me while I go a little bit slower there. Okay, that's good. I'm having a good day. We got some other stuff up on the tree. I saw this and I just loved this ornament. I have to add a couple new ornaments every year. And so... I also thought, I don't know if I'm going to add that or not, but we'll see. And then this, did you see this? Okay, we're going to open this one up. Do I need everything? Do I need to keep everything? Yeah, I do. Some, some things I do. Okay, so this is an LED metal tree lamp. I saw this, and they didn't have a lot left. They had silver. They had red. I went with the gold. I don't know. It just, like, it struck me, and I, I just thought it was the prettiest out of all of them. And it's supposed to be LED, so let's open this up. Pull the tab. I get so much satisfaction pulling that tab. Ooh, look at that. Okay. That's pretty. And so you could actually just can't see it there. So it's just a tea light with the candle, and that is metal. Okay, very nice. Okay, now my lights are going to give me... Hello, come on. Okay, there we go. Very cute. Okay, that's very cute. I'm going to put it back in here so it doesn't get all smashed up until I'm ready to put that out. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to make a bow, and they had this um, buffalo check ribbon for $1.25, and actually, you have to look, because the, some of their ribbon is in different areas again, so this is a um, 108 inches, 9 feet, okay, so I bought some of these, because I want to, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to, my components here, but I'm not, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, there's that ornament. I really like that. And then I bought some of these. This was one piece for $1.25. So you can cut these apart, paint them, and they're all the wood. But for, you get one, two, three, four of the snowflakes for $1.25. And I found these boards there. For 125 and I didn't know which one I wanted, so I splurged and spent 250. 
and got one of each. And I figured something I'm going to do, like, you know, with this, maybe one of those ornaments. The snowflakes are definitely going to be embossed on here. I'm going to paint them. But I have a stencil, snowflake stencil, so I'm probably going to paint that image in the background and then do the three-dimensional with the wood painted snowflakes and um, some kind of welcome or, you know, Christmas or Merry or something. I don't know. But definitely uh, it, it inspired me. So there you go. Then I found this. I don't know if you guys have had this stuff, but I um, had not seen this before there. And this was at the Dollar Tree. It's Disney, Mickey, and Friends selfie ring light, LED light for phones, adjustable lighting. And I thought this would be great stocking stuffer or a little gift. But that's Disney? Is that the Dollar Tree? Like that? Okay. Hmm. Let me pop it open. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. This is going to be a lot larger than I expected. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oops. Important. So better not lose that. It says important on it. This device can only be charged by five volt adapter, USB ports only. Okay, it's got look. So it's got the cord here. Guys, this is Timu quality. Huh. Look at that. It's, a char it's charged. It has a little charge in it. Look at that. That is so cute. Now, are you really going to put this on your phone? I guess kids would. That's what it's for anyway. Um, let me see here. I'm all opening this gift. If I pop it out of here, I may not get that in. Okay, here we go. Huh! Now you want to make sure you put it... Where do you put it? How do you put it on? Where's my picture? Okay, so that has to go... Oh, I'm facing it the wrong way? Am I? Yeah, they're facing it wrong. Yeah, it has to go that way. Okay, so cheese... Okay, it's blocking my camera. I have to move my camera around. So you're going to have to figure out where in the world how you're going to do that without blocking your camera. Cheese burger. Now, did that really enlighten me? That's funny. I'm not showing you because you're going to see the disaster that I'm looking at. And what I see isn't not what you need to see. You need to see this pretty side. <laughs> okay, so I better put that back together as soon as we're off of here. Better turn it off. That's so awesome. That's kind of cute. Okay, so I don't know if... Oh, it has three different levels. Huh. At the Dollar Tree. That is so weird. Okay. I should have bought more than one. Why? Because I don't need it. But I do have... Okay, so whatever. <laughs> totally cool. That's totally cool. Okay. Now, I found these. I love that I've been waiting for these cards. I found, found cards like this. They were shaped different at the Dollar Tree for fall and Halloween. And I bought them at that time, too. These are a different shape. I was hoping for a more square. But you know what? These are super cute. And they are always at the end cap. So look at them. They're not in the regular card section and they're all individually wrapped. So they're a little bit, they're just great quality for $1.25. So look at this one I got. This one is that nutcracker and it is like a 3D, you know, dimension. Is that what you say? Yeah, okay. Um, heartfelt wishes for peace and happiness this holiday season. I still have my Timu cards too. So I have plenty of cards I'm going to be sending out this year. I've um, got two of those. Um, Let it snow. Of course, I had to get the snowman one. Super cute. Um, inside. The inside of these cards are nice too. And the envelopes match. Their envelopes are colored. So these are great. And ho, ho, ho. May your day be bright and your heart be light. Merry Christmas. Aren't those cute? So if you can find these, I highly recommend these cards. I mean, you're not going to find And then I got, you know, 
two of every one of all the styles there. So that was a great deal, I thought. So we have that. Then there was a couple more houses for the little village that I started with the kids' um, area upstairs. And they're just little plastic. They're part of the um, cobblestone corner miniatures. And we had the firehouse this time. And they all light up. They all light up. Do they all light up? Yeah, they all light up. I didn't realize they all took batteries. I thought there was little tags on there. Okay, we're going to need batteries. But that's what the Dollar Tree is for, too. And then this one I thought was cute. It says, Merry Christmas. They also have an ornament that's made out of metal that looks just like this, if you're into this look. And um, I thought that was really cute. And then this one is the bed and breakfast for the little village. They're very cute. They're plastic. They take batteries. I think they take two AAA batteries. Yeah, two AAA batteries. Perfect. This is going to blow your mind. Now, I got several of them to hang from one of our trees out front. And... I'm going to show you one of each color, but I bought two of every color. So they were $1.25 each. I have four colors, one, two, three, four colors. So there's my receipt. That's what I want to see about that Mickey Mouse thing. I'm like, was that really? I'm just shocked. Um... Then that, that, yeah, that blows me away. Okay, anyway, so here these are. Now these are solar lit, so you do need some light behind it, and then it will go on. Now, oh my gosh, I'm all tangled up. They're huge light bulbs. Oh, this is a thumbnail for sure with my Grinch shirt. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. Un so cool so very cool okay they're they're little lights they're like the old-fashioned this part's plastic they're all plastic they have the solar panel there and I cannot wait to go put these up oh look at my shirt this is the perfect thumbnail don't you think yeah oh you can make earrings out of it <laughs> Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let me see something here. Let me put this down. That's what crashed in my other video the other day. They were up high. Now, there must be, um, let me put this other one down. I just thought, how cool if I can get these to work. So there is an on and off button in here. So we're going to turn that on. Playing with the dog out there and a toy. <laughs> Turn that on. I don't know if I can get this. Oh, it's already got light. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so cute in the trees. I'll never get that light back on. Okay, it has a little bit of charge. You can't really tell. But see that? Yeah, you guys. My light came right back on. Okay, now focus. My camera's like going crazy. What are you doing to me? Okay. So if you do not buy anything else and you have a tree outside and you have just a little bit of sun like we do up here, do you know pretty soon the sun, it will be dark at 3.30. It, it's crazy. And I have one of those therapy lights that I bought off of Timu because it's so affordable. And I have that and I'm so grateful for that. And it's just like the sun is shining in from my window. So I like that. Okay, so then I found these. Now if you are a... Winnie the Pooh fan. These were there, but they had other characters too. This was just, they had Mickey Mouse there, and I bought these. They're just little squishies, little um, fabric. Hold on. I am I feel like a bag lady today. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so these are Disney. There's Tigger, who's my absolute favorite, and Winnie the Pooh. I liked him when he got stuck with all the honey. So, yeah. Little, um, like the little squishmallows. That's what I think they're like. So those are just, I'm just going to throw those in the stocking. Okay. 
Then they had these. Have you seen these? These are fun. These are fun little things to throw into a stocking. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't melt those. Okay, I didn't. Oh, and here's another card I got. Oh, okay, so I had two more cards in there that I found. This one here. Son. Oh, it's to my son. Okay, so I got him one, and I got... I don't know if I realized it said son. And I got one for my daughter, I guess. More cool. That's funny. I don't think I saw that on there. <laughs> okay, these are fun. Have you seen these? Okay, so these are called Whack-A-Pack of Balloons. They had me at Whack-A-Pack. Okay, so Whack-A-Pack of Balloons. And so you open them up and you smash them and then they expand and they're like those little, uh, they're just air-filled balloons. So that's really fun. Get your Whack-A-Pack of Balloons at your local Dollar Tree store. Then, have you seen these? Okay, so we always buy a big old box of um, the candy canes, and they have all the great flavors now, but they always, even still with the great flavors, they go to waste. So, um, yeah, it looks like I have a little bit of flush going on there. Um, they always seem to go to waste because, you know, you can only eat so much candy at the holidays. So they have these smaller packs. I'm starting to get get the idea you know even though you could get more for about the same price at your walmart your grocery store wherever but um look at these flavors so i got some new flavors this year twinkie flavored candy canes twinkie flavored candy canes and then this this is one i can't wait to try so it's a little bit better than an orange straight orange um creamsicle and they had many more. So hopefully that's going into focus if I get my face out of it. And I gotta turn this heat down because it is killing me. Whew. My, my boy sweater. <laughs> I've been into a boy's extra, extra. <laughs> Read all about it. And then I thought I got this to kind of replace that tall red candle because I need that somewhere else. And they had this at the Dollar Tree. And I can actually have it lit up because it takes AAA batteries. So Dollar Tree got me at the AAA battery. And it has a little seam here. So, But I figured in here that would work and I can have it lit. So maybe we should just do that right now. Anyway, so I wanted to let you know I'm going to do I'm gonna do a giveaway that's going to be... I think it's going to be pretty cool. So... That won't be next week because I have that other collab and I don't want to take away from that. But we are going to celebrate the growth on this channel. And it's our channel because it's all because of you guys. And I do appreciate that. And with that, we are going to do a giveaway that's going to benefit more than one winner. That's what I'm going to do. Okay? So that's just a little teaser that will be coming up now. I thought I bought batteries. Okay, I'm not sure where those batteries went right now, but we will get this lit for the next video. Um, what I liked about it too, the sparkles do come off a little bit, but right now, not too, not nothing on my hand right here. I just seen a sparkle here and there, so we will have that there at some point and it will be lit. Yeah, sparkles come off a little bit, so don't touch it too much if you get one. I always throw a bunch of this stuff into their stockings. Andy's um, cream mint, and they had all the flavors, so that was a nice little treat without having too many. And then have you tried these? I, I, I like them, the gummy extra strength B12 gummies. I don't know if they work that much, but I feel like they do. I feel better when I take one, so that's good. Now, I found this. Now, they had a couple different ones. I thought that I bought four of these. I'll just show you one. And they did wrap them, so I do appreciate it. Look at that. I love how classic this looks. Um, it's all glass. It has a nice little paint, so I would hand wash them because you can tell it's painted on the outside. You can feel the, the texture. It's not vinyl. It's not a, a transfer of any kind. And um, I definitely would wash these by hand. But how cool is that? 
and you can have like a little a little drinky poo whatever you like a little coffee drink you could put anything in here how cute that would be um, yeah so your little eggnog in here because you know you can't have too much eggnog but uh, it is very rich but I love it and this is just about the size that I would like so there you go so that is my Dollar Tree slash compare Amazon with the Timu products slash uh, one Timu product for my son's birth uh, Christmas stocking and yeah I think that's it so if you like this video remember to hit the like button and then at the same time if you haven't subscribed I invite you to do that now if you like what you see I have many other videos coming up I do hauls I do some craft projects I do nails I do um, some PR I have that coming up as well so hit the like button think about subscribing and I'll I look forward to seeing you next time thank you bye